G'day, Steve here at Woodwork and Masterclass. Welcome to the workshop and welcome to episode three of the Marta B Pencil Case Collection. If you look at that, it's all nice and smooth. Now in here, I've got a gap, which unfortunately happened when I was gluing it on. So now's the time to fill it. Now you can use putty, you can use wax, you can use shellac, whatever you like. In this case, I'll use walnut, walnut putty. So in order to make a nice clean join there, instead of getting it and just dobbing it on with your finger, get a little bit of sticky tape and put it just either side of where you're going to fill and get your putty and just rub it in there. Then when you take the sticky tape off, you're left with a nice, neat little line. It's a lot easier to take off when it comes to sanding. Okay. Rest of that looks pretty good. And go through exactly the same process with this one. And there's the other one finished. No need for bog because we've got a nice joint in there. So that's both of them done. Now get the two thin pieces of plywood with the veneer on both sides. Give them a light sand. By the way, you don't have to use a sanding block either. If you've got a random orbital sander, use that. But be very mindful, you're playing with 0.6 of a mil and they are rapid at removing stock. So you can go through, so be very, very mindful. Just check with your eyes, make sure that they're okay. Just before I do this, I'm just gonna take that little bit of putty out that we put in earlier. It should be dry, which it is. Could do it later, but it's easy to do it when we don't have a base on it. Now for this, I'm not gonna use hide glue, and the reason being I want to get a very thin bead all the way around because if I use high glue, I slop it on and when I squash it actually down in place, the glue can squeeze out on the inside and I don't want that because it looks a little bit unsightly. And I make sure that I'm this side on the outside of the piece I'm gluing up. Give it a little spread out with your fingers, flip it over, place it down. Now there's a bit of squeeze out that's come through in there. So what I'm going to do is put it in the clamps for about 15 minutes and then when it starts to go off because it's a quick dry, I can then clean that out using a chisel. Got to get used to tidying up because the new show, Woodworking Masterclass is still continuing, but I'm doing a new show called Room for Woodwork for people that want to do woodwork in apartments or flats or wall caps or a corner bedroom of where they live. So I've got to learn to be tidy. Now while that's all gluing up, if this is dry, the one we put in beforehand, now's a good time to start fitting the top. And I said at the beginning of episode one, the top is a little bit different than doing the solid timber one. The reason being is we're gonna to have to make the top out of the plywood and then put the veneer on. So you've got to make it a little bit thinner than if it was a solid timber top. Now how we do that is I'll put a, an excerpt in from the video we did to show you how to make the top and then I'll talk to you when that was cleaned up. Next phase, sheet of paper, ordinary paper. Work out where the front is and we should have marked it. This is the front here. Lay the paper over, so this edge of the paper is touching here. If you like, we might put a bit of masking tape on there just to hold it in place. 
line that up against the edge of the paper and just bring that up. And just to be safe, I might put a couple of bits on the end. Now this paper is on the downside, the widest part of the mitre. Really high tech. With your finger, trace around the inside of that mitre we've just cut with the router. Now it's an idea to mark which is up and which is down and this is the downside. Because that faces downwards. Take this off. With that piece of plywood we had left when we were cutting the templates, now place this piece of paper with this creased pattern on top. What I do, I actually glue these down and now with a compass you've got to play around a little bit because when we cut these holes here I was using a force and a bit and I knew what size it was whereas this size on the inside here I have no idea what it is so I'm just going to get the middle of these two lines and then play around with my compass until I get the right radius and then I'll draw that curve in. Now I'll go over to the bandsaw and cut this shape out almost exactly. I'll leave it a little bit fat because I want to clean that up and I'll use a spoke shave or a block plane. Now that's been cut roughly to shape and the way to test how close we are is on the downside, turn it upside down and put it into this part here. And you should get fairly close contact on the outside of this bevel against your lid. So I'm fairly close, I'm just going to clean that up with a block plane and as I said before a spoke shave on the nose. Once you're happy with that, drop it in there and make sure you're just clearing the edges. Then with a the spoke shave, I'm just going to clean this corner up here. If you don't have a spoke shave, that's fine. You could use sandpaper. Just um, with the hard side of your cork block, just round it over like that. I find a spoke shave is um, a lot cleaner. Once you're happy with that shape, just fit it in. Remember to have this down. The reason I stress that you've got to have this the same orientation all the time is because if we have it this side, if this side's a little bit out, we're going to compound the problem. Whereas if we keep everything lined up, the way we took our original measurements, it will be fine. All right, so I followed that direction that you just saw, and what I did differently was on this bit that I've cut out, I actually went over it with a spoke shave, or you could use a router, and take a quarter of a mil, uh, a 64th of an inch, off. Don't worry about the top, but either side. So when I now fit this into there, it's a bit of a sloppy fit. And what I'm going to do is run another piece of plywood on this so I can get a top to see how I go. And there's the top I just ran. All I did, double sided tape again, onto there and ran it over that mitre bit that we ran this bit over. You'll see that it's quite a loose fit and it sits down here a bit. Again, I haven't got veneer on this, this is just a test one. But if I get two pieces of veneer that I'm going to be using, put it on the side of each piece and then drop it in, you'll see that it's a much better fit. 
So with that as my template, when I finished gluing up everything over there, I'll make the top. But right now is a really good time for me to say, this is Steve pulling the shed door down and saying thank you for being a part of this project. I look forward to your company in the workshop very, very soon. But until then, remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe and enjoy your woodwork. And I'll see you in episode four. Bye for now.